Hi guys, it's Jenny and today we're going to be doing a middle split focused follow along but it doesn't matter if you're really far away from the middle splits, you're just a beginner no matter what your level you can still follow along just go as deep as you can and you'll still get the benefits, okay? So we're going to start off warming up the hips so take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance rotate big circles to one direction three four five six seven eight nine and ten switch directions so you want to get nice big movement so you're not just kind of weirdly going side to side we're going forward side back side uh six seven i've actually got a timer down here today so that i hopefully won't go over time but you know we'll see how well that works when I just get into it. So you're going to take a long stance. So we're going to go into a lunge, just like, you know, quite a deep, quite a long lunge. So you're stretching this back hip flexor and then you're going to shift your hips back as you fold your torso forwards. So now we're stretching the front hamstring. So lunge, hip flexor, fold back, hamstring. So it's important you push the hips back. Forwards, lunge, back, hamstring, forwards, lunge, back, hamstring, cool, switch legs, so we've got our right leg forward, left leg back, we're going to go into the lunge, get that back hip flexor, hinge back, front hamstring, long lunge, hip flexor stretch, and back hamstring. Lunge. So we're just getting warmed up. Obviously for the middle splits you don't just want to jump straight into it. Well, you can if you're awesome, but I need a little bit of a warm up. One more, long lunge. And back. Cool, so that was kind of, you know, just general movement, but we're going to get into more hip specific stuff now. So we're going to a horse stance. So your feet are as wide as you want. The wider you go, the harder it is. So I just recommend sort of middling level and just sit down. And ideally you want your hips and your knees in line. So you're not up here like this, this would be too easy. You want to go as low as you can. And we're just going to bounce. I've checked the timer. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Each bounce, see if you can go a little bit lower. You're not like throwing yourself up and down. You're just doing a gentle pulse. See if you can go lower, keep your knees pushing out. If your knees are collapsing in, not so good. Engage the glutes, knees out. Keep bouncing, keep holding. We've got less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, then coming up, shake your legs off. We'll go into a more normal squat now. So um, slightly less on the hips, a little bit more on the ankles, just squat down. If you need to lift your heels up or have your hand on the floor, no worries. Still warming up, just sway from side to side. Sitting down and we're going to just reach up with one hand, stretch and then switch sides, other hand down, other hand up, stretch. A little bit more chill. Now we're really going to get some heat into the legs and do some Cossack squats. So Cossack squats ideally we're going to go down to one side keeping the heel down and rotating the other foot up. If you need to be on your toes, if you want to put your hands down that's fine. We're going to do 10. So that's one coming up, down two, up, down three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, last one, ten, and up. Cool. Easy busy, getting the hips moving. We're now going to come to sit on the floor to the other side. So the first side we did our Cossack squat on. And we're going to try and kind of mimic that Cossack position, but as if we'd like fallen 
backwards in our Cossack. So this foot is as close to your bum as you can, but the knee is up, the other leg straight out to the side. And we're just gonna hold this stretch, okay? So if you're maybe here, that's okay. Just see how close you can get that foot. If you want, you can bring the same side arm to the inside and use that to assist you to push it out. Other hand can go behind you. Deep breath in. And relax. Go for a wiggle. Moving your hips, opening up. You might feel a bit of a stretch on this leg. I feel it mostly on this leg. Just depends where you're tight. And switch sides. So go to the other side. Right leg extended, left leg up nice and close. Same again. If you need to be out here, that's fine. Just try and get as close as possible. Bring this arm inside. Try and push it out. Other hand behind you, pushing you up. And we'll hold here. So from now, we're going to be going into a little bit more passive stretching, which is good, you know, good for the extreme flexibility side, but you never want to neglect your stability as well. So there are a lot of active stretches we can be doing where we use our muscles and strength at the same time. Um, but just for today, we're going to take it nice and chill and do some passive stretching. So done that, we're going to take it a little bit further on the adductors. So go back to your right side. Going to put your right knee on the ground, left leg out to the side, tuck your back toes and sit back onto your bum. This might be enough of a stretch for you if you're feeling it down here on the inside of this leg. If not, you're going to fold forwards and see how low you can go. So you don't want to go straight here, not so difficult. We're going to creep ourselves closer to the straight leg and the closer you can get to the straight leg, the more you'll feel it in your adductor. I'm just gonna hold, I forgot to check the timer. You've probably only been here a few seconds. You can use, um, the position of this foot doesn't really matter so much. As long as you're feeling the stretch, you'll just feel it slightly differently, depending on the angle of that foot. Okay, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and bring yourself back up. You're gonna switch sides, come over to your left knee, right leg extends, sitting back onto your heel. Again, if this is enough of a stretch, you can stay here. If not, bring it down onto the elbows and see how close to that straight leg you can get. Another 30 seconds here. And you can have a wiggle as well, you know, like moving around during the stretch. You don't need to pick a position and hold it forever. If you feel a bit uncomfortable, you can always just come up a little bit. Maybe lean your torso forwards without needing to put the arms down. That's fine. Just hold however long you can hold. And then maybe next time you do this, you hold it for a little bit longer. Three, two, one. And then back up. Give your hips little bit of a wiggle. That was our first real, um, I guess, real intense hold. Now we're going to sit down on our bums and go into a straddle. So the width of your legs is going to vary <laughs> depending on where you're at. Anything over the 90 degrees is great. Um, so just sit wherever you can. Um, but if you want to take it a little bit further, you can put your hands behind you pick your bum up off the floor and then push your hips forwards and that will open up just that little bit extra. We're just going to hold it here. You can do whatever you like with the torso. We're not going to go to pancake today unless you would like to, which is um, just a forward fold in a straddle. So that is optional if that's where you are. But if not, we'll just stay here getting used to this position getting our legs loosened and relaxed. On this one, um, it does matter a little bit which way your feet are facing. So you want your legs to be rolled out so you're not letting them collapse in. Roll your legs out so your knees are pointing up. 
If you can as well, think about anteriorly tilting your pelvis so you're not sitting there with a rounded back. You're pushing your tummy forwards almost. You're rolling your hips forwards. If you can't get this, try sitting on something like a yoga block or a bunch of cushions, something like that, and it'll help you get that tilt. And you will feel the stretch change when you do this. Pull it for another three, two, one, and I say relax, but actually stay exactly where you are. <laughs> and what we're gonna change up the stretch. So now we're gonna bend to the side. So keep your legs exactly where they are. We're gonna take our right hand down our right leg, lift the left arm up and overhead. So you wanna stretch so far up that you run out and you just have to go sideways. So you don't just wanna be going like this. You know, you wanna go up, stretch and you're feeling a stretch all the way down your sides, your obliques, your lats and just breathe so as you exhale stretch a little bit further try and keep your chest open so as you go down you're not closing over like this you're opening up and if you can you can reach your toes of your extended leg Deep breathe in. Three, two, one, and back up. We're gonna go to the other side, exactly the same thing. Left arm scooches down, right arm reaches up, so much up that you just tip over. No matter how far you get, if you're up here, that is good. As long as we're getting that motion, the chest is open and we're side bending, we're not forward bending, we're actually doing a little crunch. And just go wherever you can go. Same again, big breath in. And out. Exhale. And relax. Three, two, one, and bring yourself back up. Oh, easy peasy. Okay, so now gently bend your knees, use your hands to assist you. We're gonna bring our feet together in a butterfly stretch. So the first one we're gonna do is, you're just gonna try and get your knees, at, uh, your knees, your feet as close to, your, to yourself as possible, and just bounce your knees up and down a little bit. This is just quite a traditional butterfly stretch. And um, once you're comfortable, once you're relaxed, of course, we're going to similar anterior tilt to the straddle and see can we just push our chest forwards. So we're not so focused about rounding our back and trying to get our nose to our toes. We're almost trying to get our chest to a point in front of our feet. So we're extending the back, tilting the pelvis. And if you can, you can use your elbows to try and get your knees a little bit lower. Just breathe. And relax the same, you know, as before. You can move, you can sway, you can bounce your knees a little bit, you can wiggle. It's all good. Stretching more of the outer hips in this one. Um, for the second variation, we're gonna scooch our feet forward. So now we're kind of, we're aiming to make a square inside our legs. So our knees are more at 90 degree bend. And you're gonna feel it in a slightly different place. So exactly the same thing, you're gonna fold forwards. I feel this much lower, so it's more like down my thighs rather than on the outside of my glutes. I can't get down as far, you might not as well, or you might find this one easier, who knows? Breathing in, and exhale, go a bit further. I've totally abandoned the timer. It's still there, but uh, I don't think I've checked it in a while. This is meant to be a 30 second hold. I've probably done about 15 seconds. That's okay. You get more benefits anyway. That's what I'll tell everybody. We'll do five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so now for our first Really horrible stretch. Now, 
obviously it's great, it's really good, but it's horrible as well. It's frog stretch, so if you've ever done frog before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's very similar to middle splits, but we have our legs bent. So what we're doing is we're trying to get our knees nice and wide, and then behind our knees, our ankles want to be in line with the knee. So you've got like 90 degree knee and then flex your foot so you've got like a zigzag of knee, ankle, toes. And we're just gonna hold it here. So over the course of the 45 second-ish hold that we're gonna do, we're gonna just keep breathing, keep relaxing and see if we can increase the width of our knees as we go. And if you want to make it even more horrible, push your hips back a little bit. So when you're forwards, you take some of the pressure off. When you sit back, it's definitely an increase in the stretch. You can come down to your elbows if you like. Take the knees a little bit wider, if you can. We're just gonna hold. About five more seconds. That was easy really, wasn't it? Five, four, three, two, one. And coming back up, Whew. very slowly, very gently. If you struggle, go forwards first and then come out of it that way. Um, so whew, just leave your hips closed for a minute. Just sit so that they are relaxed and don't feel too stretched. If you can't hold it, if you couldn't hold it for that full amount of time, no worries. Same as I said before, if you need to, come out of it, next time you do this, you'll be able to hold it for a little bit longer. Um, okay, so now we're gonna move on to a more extended leg. However, uh, we're just gonna do one leg at a time, so we can kind of be a little bit meaner on ourselves. The start position is very similar to what we were doing for the adductor stretch at the start, except for this time we are going to uh, keep forwards. We're not gonna sit back onto our heel, we're gonna keep forwards. This extended leg is as if it's doing a middle split. So we take it nice and wide and we keep this knee in line with that foot. So we're not, you know, making it like some weird hamstring stretch, okay? So from there, once you've got nice and wide, we're gonna start rocking back and forwards. Back and forwards. And you're gonna go a little bit wider with each rock. So you can see I'm getting a little bit lower, a little bit closer towards that middle split, but one of my legs is still bent, taking some pressure off a lot of weight in my hands. So we're still gonna do a few more. Three, two, and one. Coming back up. Switch into the other side, nice and slowly. Move nice and gently. You don't want to shock your hips at this point. We're doing a lot of intense stretching. So starting off, foot and knee is in line. We just go nice and wide with that foot. Put the weight into our hands. Once we're nice and wide, we rock back and forwards. Back. Again, going wider if you can with each pulse. Forwards, back, forwards, forwards, almost there, back, forwards, just five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Coming back up, nice and slowly, nice and carefully. Um, just before we do, our middle split hold, so next is gonna just be as far as we can. We're gonna stand up nice and gingerly and really slowly, we're gonna do a few hip circles, much, much slower than we did at the start because we're just trying to keep the hips relaxed at this point. If you stretch too far, there's a tendency to tighten up and tense up. So I just want you to use this as like a ooh, nice and easy, Deep breaths, checking we're all okay, checking everything's all good. And we're just gonna relax. Okay, so our final stretch is gonna be middle splits. Um, there are a couple of different positions for a middle split. We're gonna do 
knees forwards, feet forwards, and we can put our hands down as we do it just for support. And we're gonna see how long or how low we can go for about 45 second holds. So nice and wide, just as wide as you can. And we're just going to hold it. Over the course of the time, we're gonna go a little bit lower as we relax into it. If you feel like you can't hold it for the full time, that's okay, you can just come out of it. Take a break, come back in. Nice deep breathing. If you need to just come up a little bit, that's okay as well. You don't need to keep going lower. Keep holding. Keep breathing. Go a little bit lower. Got 15 seconds left. Nice deep breaths. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax in any way you want to come out of it. I just sat back in the straddle. Whoop, carefully bring your legs in. Whew. Wow, that's an intense stretch. So if you didn't manage the whole time, that's okay. If you needed to come up, that's fine too. We're just seeing where we're at and every time you can maybe go a little bit lower hold a little bit longer so just come into a 90-90 really relaxed one really chill one I've got my hand on the ground other hand on the ground too and we're just gonna whoop switch nice and easy similar to what we were doing with the hip rotations or the hip circles we just want to relax the hips and relax ourselves you know it's quite a stressful position to be in the middle splits, especially if you're new to it, or you know, like me, I'm intermediate, not quite there yet, and it's still quite a challenging position to be in. You just wanna make sure your hips are okay and that you're not tensing up. You may feel sore from this session. You can get sore from stretching. You are stressing the muscles just the same as if you're exercising slightly different but don't be surprised anyway it's not wrong or it's not bad and then you're going to bring your feet in front of you and we're just going to do little windscreen wipers so it's 90 90 again but even even more chill so I'm leaned right back on my hands just rotating my hips through internal and external rotation cooling them down relaxing them off checking they're okay and if you felt any pain at all, you know, probably just pushed a little bit too hard next time. Don't push so hard. It's intense stuff. You're not going to get your middle splits in a day, unfortunately. It will take a good few weeks, if not months, of regular practice. And it's best to just push yourself, you know, a little bit each time because then you can be more consistent rather than going, I'm going to get a middle split in one session and then you end up injuring yourself or hurting yourself which you don't want to do so hope you enjoyed today's session hope you followed along hope you could do it all at least a little bit just at your level and i'll see you again next time